Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to another fantastic episode of Teach Me Tech. I'm your hostess, Laurel Gray, and today I'm going to walk you through a very interesting tool called Hotjar. Essentially, it allows you to map out heat maps and recordings of your website so that you can find out exactly how users are visiting your site. Here's what we're going to cover on today's episode. What is Hotjar and why you need it in your business? Committing to ongoing website success and what that means. Setting up your account. Verifying your Hotjar account with your website, so linking those two things up. Navigating the dashboard. Configuring heat maps, configuring recordings, other features that you can enable within Hotjar, and finally, sharing your team, sharing with, sharing with your team or with your developer. All right, so let's get started. First of all, you're probably wondering what exactly Hotjar is. It's a little bit of a strange name, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure exactly why they've called it Hotjar. Uh, Basically, what Hotjar does is it sits as a tracking code on your site. So similar to Google Analytics or your Facebook pixel tracking code, Hotjar is going to be able to link up to your site by being verified with it using a specific code, either within Google Tag Manager or on your site directly, and it will track what's happening on your site. Basically, visitors, when they're coming, you can see if they're scrolling down all the way down the page. You can see where their mouse is hovering over. It gives you really incredibly in-depth analytics and statistics on exactly how people are using your site. What it will do from there is either give you beautiful heat map drawings so that you can visualize what the traffic looks like, or it will also give you uh, an actual recording, so you can see how people are clicking through, how long they're pausing on certain elements. You actually watch the user as they're viewing your site. Lastly, what you can do is you can add in what are called funnels and specifically see, so kind of like you can with Google Analytics as well, you can view what the traffic flow is like from your home page or from your landing page throughout your site, and it gives you some really nice visual mapping. So if you're a marketer, or a business owner, this could be really incredible for your business, especially if you've got an e-commerce business where you're selling a product online, or perhaps you're selling uh, an on-sell with a webinar, or you're selling a, a specific service where people have to opt in. It'll give you an idea of how people are viewing the content on that page. So there are a number of other things that you can do with Hotjar as well, which we'll cover off on later, but I think that covers off on the basics. Hopefully you're sold. Oh, if you're not sold yet, wait a minute. There is a free option that you can start off with that gives you tons of data. So don't worry about having to upgrade to the paid version just yet. All right, committing to ongoing website success. You guys know that I give you so many different tools. It would be impossible almost to implement every tool that you learn about on Teach Me Tech in your business. I'm with you. You're probably going, oh my god, this is like another thing that I've got to put in my Google Calendar. I've got to remind myself to check in on it. When will it ever end? Hotjar is awesome because it's something that can just be running in the background. When you want to evaluate the statistics, you absolutely can. And you can log in at any time to do so. So it's not like there's a lot of pressure, like with Google Analytics, which me measures your traffic. There's not a lot of pressure to go in and constantly analyze your Hotjar account, for example. I will say that I think if you're going to watch this video and install Hotjar on your site, or sites, plural, because you can have more than one site under the free account, then you do want to be committed to the process. Really think about now, depending on what page you're imagining in your head, whether it's the home page for your master brand, whether it's a specific sales page um, for a product that you've got, for example, Think about in your mind what you want to achieve. Do you have kind of an inkling that maybe you're not getting the total sales that you should on a specific page? Or do you have a feeling that maybe users don't like a certain type of graphic or that they're stopping reading at a certain point on a page, but you can't put your finger on it? I want you to imagine a specific scenario for your business before you get started and write it down somewhere. 
Hotjar is great because you can just log in and check on this in a month or a week's time without a whole lot of pressure. What you could also do is carve out a little bit of time every month just to log in and review the statistics and set another goal for the next month around a specific conversion or around maybe fixing a specific part of a page. All right, so commit to it and make sure that you have a system in place after watching this episode for continual monitoring. Now, setting up your account, let's hop onto the Hotjar website and I'll walk you through the landing page and show you how to get logged in for the first time. All right, so what I've done here is just put into Google, our friend the Googs, I've put in Hotjar. And when we scroll down, of course you could click on the ad, I don't think it's very nice to do that. Um, we'll just click on the first link here. All right, so it says Hotjar, all-in-one analytics and feedback. Now, of course, it's not going to be a replacement for Google Analytics, but it is going to give you way more in-depth information about how people use your site. Now, here's a great graphic. It shows you the heat map, of course, red being where people are clicking on the most. Um, with Hotjar, you can also obviously do recordings, conversion funnels, form analysis, how people are utilizing forms on your site, feedback polls, surveys, and you can also recruit user testers for specific pages. So it says here the old way would be to use a bunch of different metrics and tools in order to test your site, and the new way is Hotjar. And to be honest, they are pretty good in the marketplace. I haven't tested all of these different ones. I definitely have I've used Crazy Egg, Survey Monkey, but I haven't tried the other ones. I will say that Hotjar does offer pretty much an all-encompassing solution. So if you look down, you can see there are quite a lot of credible partners that they use um, and people who have actually used the product. So we know that it's got credibility, and for sure, Hotjar is the most well-known tool in the market, so you guys can be very confident that I'm recommending to you the best product. I would recommend, if you're on your own and you have a bit of time, have a look through the product tour because they do have a couple of great um, screenshots here. You'll see this is a sample of a visitor recording. So it looks like literally a video that's being played. Um, the conversion funnels will give you a much better graphic, I would say, than Google Analytics. And it's easier to use as well. Um, and then the form analysis as well gives you full statistics. Feedback polls can be customized. See how it allows you to customize the colors? We might get time to go into that later. Um, and then, of course, cross-device customer surveys and the ability to recruit test users if you want. That part doesn't really apply probably to most businesses that are watching Teach Me Tech, but you never know. So what we'll do here is we'll just click on pricing very quickly. And here it automatically is going to bring us to the business page. Now, of course, if you're watching, you're likely going to be registering this for your business, but what I'd like to do is direct you to the personal. And it's a free forever plan. So you can collect up to 2,000 page views a day, which I would say for most small businesses, medium businesses starting out in cloud technology and starting out monitoring your website, that should likely be enough. Um, it does give you limited reports, unlimited users, unlimited sites, and data storage for three months. So certainly this is more than enough for you to get started and test it out. From there, they also offer a low price plan at 29 USD per month, where you can upgrade to get more of the pro features and functionality, including additional page views. Um, and it's not that much more expensive. Of course, if you work it out to be on an annual basis, it does add up. So you want to make sure that you're really ready to upgrade that plan. And you can always start with the free one. All right, so on the website, we'll click Start Now. All you've got to do is either fill in your full name an email address, or you can click sign up with Google, which you all know is my favorite option. Okay, request for permission, click allow. We'll set our password. So I'm going to go into my last pass, generate secure password, copy and paste, accept the terms and conditions. Oh, we need one special character. Okay, we'll add a dollar sign on the end, click next. Of course, save it into LastPass. 
And all you've got to do to customize is just put in the, a little bit of information about yourself. I'll just make this a bit bigger for you all. So my role, I'll just say consultant. Will you manage clients? No, this is for demo company. It's our own business. And we'll just put our company name in. Now, certainly, if you do own a web development business, you would probably want to say manage for your clients. OK, we'll put in the URL. I'm not a robot. Look, if anybody ever emails me and says, how do they know that you're not a robot? I'm going to reply with, I have no idea. I actually don't know how this technology works, but maybe that's an episode that we can do in the future. <laughs> and we'll click on Start Using Hotjar. And bam, it's going to bring us straight into the dashboard, and you're going to be ready to roll. So what we'll do is we'll take a short break, and then when I come back, I'll walk you through exactly what you need to do to get your first website set up, integrated with Hotjar, and then using some of the first tools. Hello, and welcome back to Teach Me Tech. I'm so excited to share with you a little bit more about Hotjar today. Hotjar being, of course, an amazing website recording and heat mapping tool so that you can see exactly what your visitors are doing on your website. A little bit weird and creepy, or actually really good for your analytics and your statistics on your site. Hmm. You'll have to decide. I think it's probably for the better. So we've already set up your account. What I'll do is I'll bring you back. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.